Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show for Friday, August 2nd, 2019. Welcome to another eBay video. Today we're going to be discussing the changes announced at eBay Open in a little greater detail and I'm going to go over your comments, questions and concerns from my last four videos, which were the four eBay Open videos. I picked out the most pertinent questions, comments, and concerns and combined everything into one nice little segment, which I hope you're going to find helpful. So that being said, we're going to start with your comments, questions, and concerns first. Black Lotus Boutique wrote, I'm curious as to how many fly out to this event every year on average. Too bad that wasn't money instead of confetti. And the answer to that question is 1,600 people attended this year. Gary Smith wrote, Joe, happy times to you. I hate to break the moment, but what is volume pricing? Volume pricing is something that recently took effect on eBay. It's when you are listing a quantity item. Let's say you have 10 of a certain item you're listing. And if you opt in to the volume pricing feature, it means the more the buyer purchases, the bigger the discount he gets. So for instance, let's just say the first item is $20. You can opt in to have the second item, let's just say 5% off, the third item 10% off, and so on and so on. When you're listing, at the very bottom of the listings flow, or close to it, is an option for volume pricing. If I'm not making this clear enough, guys, let me know, and in a future video, I will do screenshots on this. But I have a lot of ground to cover today, so I'm not planning on doing any screenshots. Mercedes Lux wrote, I am impressed by eBay this year on the eBay Open event. So far from your video and photos, I can tell this year's event was way better than last year's. I enjoyed this video of photos and your narrative. Thanks, Joe. Hey, did you wear your defective t-shirt? I can't wait to see what else you have in store for us subscribers. I know you had a super califragilistic expialidocious time at eBay Open 2019. Yes, I did wear my defective t-shirt on Wednesday. Mary Death Deals wrote, it looks beautiful. I heard it was really pricey. Thank you for bringing it to us in photos. The cost to go to the event was, I believe, $350 per person. If you live out there, it's really not that bad. But if you're flying in from a distant place, then you have to figure in the airfare, hotel rooms, and all that kind of stuff. So yes, it can add up. Scott Larsh wrote, So I sell license plates. A few days ago, eBay sends me a message informing me my account is suspended for violating eBay license plate policy. It referenced the plate being a form of government ID. A lot of other sellers sell plates. Should I fight this? The rules for selling license plates on eBay is the plate must be at least five years old and it must distinctly say this in your title. So if the plate is from the year 2000, you would write, let's just say, 2000 New Hampshire license plate, or whatever it happens to be. Once, and all, I do sell license plates myself for collecting purposes. I'm a license plate collector. And many years ago, I had listed a plate that was not five years old. So that got taken down. But I never got any threatening letter or anything but I'm very careful to always put the year, the year, in the title when listing license plates. Joseph George wrote, Joe, did you bring your cup of life to get some of the refreshments? No, I didn't bring the cup of life because Lloyd's of London wanted too much money to insure the cup from here out to Vegas, and I just wasn't gonna pop for that kind of money. That cup is worth just too much to me. St. Paul MN Seller wrote, Joe, it looked like there were at least six people that acknowledged you in some way when you were on the side videoing the crowd. I was most impressed with the drummers. Do not recall if they had them last year. No, they did not have them last year, 
this was the first time they ever had the drummers at the event. I thought it added a really cool touch at the end. Black Lotus Boutique wrote, I think this is great news. My question is why is this not going to roll out until October 1st? That is three months from now. Seems like they're always doing updates anyway, so why wait for an October 1st update? Otherwise, still great news. I'm also certainly glad you can add someone to delegate your account. I, for one, cannot possibly hire anyone and pay them. I do everything myself and it would help me take some load off knowing I can have someone do part of my account. Listings can be very time consuming to say the least. Thank you, Joe, for the very informative update on this and always looking forward to the next video. Maybe in time with the new returns on items not as described claims, the word will get out and Fitchy buyers will be so very few and far between. Who knows, but with that being said, at least it tells me eBay recognizes the problem. I'm going to discuss the items not as described claims once I rehash the changes that were announced in about five or ten minutes. Tracy Thriftsit wrote, Don't be fitchy. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> I noticed something weird on the last four videos. Normally I don't get very many negative comments, whether it be toward eBay, toward eBay policies, or toward maybe something that I said in the video. But over the last four videos, I got way more negative comments than normal. Now, I have no problem whatsoever with you guys saying a negative comment against eBay policy or what you think should be changed, because I do it myself sometimes. The only thing I ask is that you make the comment clear and concise and do not spam. Do not spam any videos with repeated negative comments. And if you do something like that, you know darn well that I'm going to check your channel out and see if you're a legit person. In the last four videos I made, there was one person that spammed repeated negative comments about eBay policy and such things on my videos. So I checked their channel out and it's one of those blank channels with no activity and nothing going for it. And that concerns me because it could be a fitchy person. So anytime somebody does something like that, I am going to check to see who's doing it. And if it's a blank channel, I'm going to have to censure them. Again, please say whatever you want, but please at least have a real channel to back it up. So I know you, your comments will go so much further and carry so much weight if you have a real channel. I'm going to read one of the negative comments for the simple reason a lot of people seem to agree with the person and I do believe in voicing both sides of the issues. Here is the comment. Another party, but the real issues are never talked about, nor anyone is brave enough to question those in the high chairs. They all go and feel so, so important to be part of the pack and things still going wrong and damaging the small people, sellers. Scammers continue stealing. eBay continues to punish sellers and the party goes on and ah, it's nothing like being part of the pack, right? Let me explain something here. Things don't always go right. I'll be the first to admit that. It helps if you insinuate yourself into various communities and help to go bring about change like I do, all right? I go to meetings, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups, I go out to the conference every year. I get out there and I try and institute change where I can. And in many cases, I feel it has been very, very helpful. As far as scammers stealing, that is an important issue. I totally agree with that, all right? We need to get fitchy people off eBay. I myself, I can say that I single-handedly talked to some serious people from Trust and Safety again this time, all right? If I have time, I'll tell you a little bit about that, but I wanna talk about the issues that affect everyone, not just the issues that are affecting me. So let's get started. Wait, first, before we get started, Fox News Couple Lifetime, 
This is the Fox News cup of life. Happy is he who drinks from it. Oh yeah. Now let's start talking about the eBay open announcements and the changes that are coming about. I touched on most of them in my last few videos, but I want to get a little deeper into that today. First of all, they have introduced a picture editor. The picture editor will automatically add a white background to your images because eBay is saying Google prefers a white background. But there's a little catch to this. The picture editor is only available on the mobile app and only available to those who attended eBay Open. Another thing eBay has announced is something called Managed by eBay Delivery. It is similar to Amazon FBA. This will be available next year for your larger sellers who have huge quantities of items. They will send their items in to a warehouse just like people do on Amazon FBA and eBay in turn will ship to the respective customers. Right now this is in beta. It's not available to most of us. I know one guy who's actually in this program right now so I can tell you firsthand how it's going to work as this program progresses but this will not be available to any of us until next year and quite frankly I really don't think it's something most of us are going to use eBay has also introduced multi-user access that is something that I would think some of the bigger sellers would like because you can now delegate responsibility to people and allow them to access only certain functions of your eBay account. In the past I've known some people who would go out and hire VAs, virtual assistants, and they would have to give the person complete control of their eBay account in order to do listings or perform whatever function. Now you no longer have to do that. You can delegate responsibility to people and not have to worry about giving out all your personal information. I myself do not think I'll be using this feature because I do all my own listings. Now here's an important one. I want everyone to pay special attention to seller protections. There are new seller protections being unveiled. These seller protections will apply to all top rated sellers who offer 30 day returns. Not 30 day free returns, just ham and egg 30 day returns like I do. So if you're a top rated seller and you offer 30 day returns, you will enjoy the following new protections. Number one, people who file false SNAD returns. This is something we've all talked about the last year or two. I've been very vocal on this. I told you I would, and eBay is listening. So let me tell you what they're going to, or how they're going to protect us against false SNAD returns. Number one, they will give us a $6 credit toward the return shipping on all false SNAD returns. Now, in my case, $6 is only a very small percentage of the shipping in most cases, especially if I'm selling a set of hubs all the way out to California. But their rationale for this is they said the average return cost on eBay is $6. So that's where they came up with that figure. Also, if the person returns the item to you and the item is not in the condition you sent it, for instance, if you sell them a new dress with tags on it and they send it back and the tags have been ripped off, you can deduct up to 50% of the return. So if you sold that dress, let's say for $50, you can return only $25 if you want. In addition, 
any negative feedback left by that false snad return buyer or Fitchy buyer as we call them here on this channel will be removed this is I think very good news now I do believe and correct me if I'm wrong that most of you guys are top rated sellers and offer 30 day returns so I'd like to hear from both you guys who are top rated sellers and offer 30 day returns who will enjoy this privilege and I'd also like to hear from you guys who aren't give me your feelings on this while we're on this topic let's talk about Fitchy buyers who continually are claiming false snad returns to circumvent paying the shipping back. What is eBay going to do about this? eBay held a specific workshop at eBay Open to address this and I attended it. This is how they say it's going to work. First, the buyer will receive a warning from eBay. The second time it happens, they will be suspended for eBay either a week or two. The third time it happens they will be terminated from eBay and eBay says they will also take steps to prevent this Fitchy buyer from opening new additional accounts. Okay, let's stop right here and discuss that. I'll be the first one to step up and I did more about that in a second. I'll be the first one to step up and say this has never worked in the past, okay? So after this workshop, members like myself were invited to step up to the microphone and voice their questions or opinions. Now as you could probably ascertain, I had a lot to say on this issue, but I thought better of going up to the microphone and saying what I had to say, because the people from Trust and Safety were right there. I said, I can do better. I can accomplish more one on one, mano e mano. So at the end of the meeting, I walked up and I introduced myself to the head of trust and safety that was there. And I said, please sit down. You and I have a lot to discuss. And I took him back several years and I gave him an example of what one Fitchy person can do on eBay. I laid it right out for him. I had everything. I had screenshots. I had examples. I had videos. I had Fox News reports. And I got my point across. I can only say so much about this case right now. But you guys who've been following my channel and know me know I don't let go. Okay? Right is right and fair is fair and some things need to be pursued. So I basically said to the eBay reps after that, given what I've just showed you, what assurances can you give me now that you are stopping people like this from creating new and fake eBay accounts? And I was rather surprised with what he told me. For the sake of what's going on right now, I'm not going to get any more into that. And I, I really wish I could, but I'm sorry, guys. I can't. Right? I have to go with what is best for the welfare of the general public. So that's all I'm going to say on that issue now, but I will have more about that in the future. I feel trust and safety on eBay is very important and I will continue to weekly give you updates on this matter. eBay has also introduced something called buy again button. If you go into your recent purchase history on eBay, you'll see the items you purchased recently and you will see a blue button that says buy again. If the seller still has a quantity of those items in stock, I checked in my eBay and I certainly do see that blue buy again button so that I think is a helpful feature I do believe that covers the main topics covered at eBay open all in all I think it's all a big win for sellers 
If any of you guys agree or disagree with me, you're free to comment as you wish, okay? Please make the comments on point and address the eBay topics I've discussed. Now I want to discuss something that happens to me periodically on eBay Motors, and it really chagrins me. I'm willing to bet this does not happen to any of you, because I do believe it's something that would only confine itself to eBay Motors. So for this, I'm going to grab something on the side here. I want to show it to you, and I want to explain what's going on. This is an alloy wheel center cap. As you know, I sell these on eBay, and 90% of my returns are alloy wheel center caps because people do not read the information in the listing. I go through a lot of trouble to tell the people what is the year and model that this fits, what wheel it fits. I even put pictures of the wheel itself, and I even put the Ford or whatever part number is applicable. If you look really close on the back there, you'll see there's a Ford part number. So I always fill in item specifics, and from the drop-down menu, I will fill in the year and model of the vehicle that this part fits. And I will clearly say in the listing, this cap only fits this wheel and no other wheel. Sounds cut and dry, right? Periodically, in fact, this very week, I will get a customer that will write to me and say something like, would you take measurements of the back of this cap and tell me precisely in millimeters what those measurements are? That is something that spells trouble because that tells me the person wants to use this for a wheel other than which it was designed and that will never ever work. That is going to spell trouble for me and an almost guaranteed return. You cannot make things fit. I've talked about this before. Anytime somebody writes to me and asks me that question, that's an automatic huge stop sign that pops out. So I had this guy the other day wrote that to me, and I wrote to him, no way is what I said. I'm not measuring it. This cap can only fit the car that I described, and I'm even going to enclose a picture of the wheel that this cap fits. And I did that. He writes back to me and said, how long will it take you to simply measure the cap? I want to know the precise millimeter measurements on the back. I'm not doing it. I said, no, I refuse. You're going to try and use this cap for a wheel that it's not designed for, and that means it's an almost sure return for me. I'm not doing it, all right? Right is right. Never try and use parts and make them fit when they're not specifically designed for the purpose to which they were intended. It's trouble. Guys, trust me on that. I don't want to come off as being a hard nose on this, but right is right and fair is fair, and I do know what I'm talking about. It'll never work. I've had bad experiences in the past with it. Let's discuss a few other things. In one of my previous videos about the eBay Open, I had talked about somebody trying to steal my belt, and I forgot to follow up on that. Basically what happened was, <laughs> my belt got wet, okay? I was outside at the pool area, and my belt got wet. So I laid the belt down on a ledge right next to me, like where I am right here, as I was talking to Gary and Sharon. The three of us are chatting belt is right here. This guy comes, veers right out of his way, and scoops up my belt right when I'm standing there. I said, what are you doing? That's my belt. He says, oh, I thought that it was being thrown out, or discarded. I said, how's it being thrown out? The thing's sitting here right next to me. And Gary and Sharon were laughing like crazy. They thought it was the funniest thing they ever saw. Unbelievable. Also, for those of you who are wondering, why is the sign not up 
on the birdhouse, the f new Fitchy sign, because it rained last night and everything out here is still wet. I want to wait till that dries off before I affix it. And speaking of rain, it is not raining now, and can you believe the sun is out? I'm not freaking kidding. I'm not freaking kidding. It is sunny out right now at this moment. One thing I plan to do, and I've been talking about this for months, and I'm really, really slow on it. I really want to get my second channel going with stories. I think I'm going to go back to the what grade are you in episodes and talk about interesting stories from school days. If I think about it, I'm going to put a link to my second channel in the description box below so you guys can subscribe to it. I've got to try and start making videos on that channel. So yeah, that's basically it for now. Let's do a quick rehash. Guys, I discussed eBay Open and the new policies, the seller protection, and a few features that they're rolling out. Earlier, somebody had written in complaining that some of the features will not be available till October 1st. Quite frankly, I'd love to see those features available sooner myself, but they're not. So I'll have to wait till October 1st. All in all, I think it's a win-win for sellers. I think eBay did a great job on eBay Open and the updates. I'm happy with everything across the board. I'm going, I promise you, I give you my solemn vow. I promise to stay on the eBay executives and the trust and safety people as it concerns fitchy people on eBay. Guys, you know me, you know I'm a man of my word. You can take that to the bank. And you want to know why? Because I'm crazy New York driver and you're not. Thanks for watching this video. Each week I come out here and I make these videos to try and help you be successful on eBay. If you think I did a good job, please leave me a thumbs up. It tells me I'm on point and I'm appreciated. If you don't think I nailed it this week, tell me in the comment section what you want me to hit up and I'll be glad to do it next week. I am a seller friend, not a seller critic or skeptic of any kind. I've solved a lot of problems. I'm still making money online. Heck, I've never, ever worn a mask. Some say I could be a CEO or a CFO. You never know. So yeah, guys. I guess there's nothing else to say, but go out there, make a lot of eBay sales, rock on, and peace! And the three most important words in my vocabulary are, don't be fetchy! <laughs> Especially on eBay! <laughs>